21st episode of the Go To Techie Show. I'm your host, Isaac Swenson. I got a great show lined up for you. But first off, I'd like to thank our sponsors for this show, GoDaddy and eMusic. And uh, if you want to save some money with GoDaddy, head over to my website, www.thegototechie.com, and you'll find all my promotional codes and offers right on there. Um, to get stuff started off with, if you have any tech questions, feel free to email me at thegototechie at gmail.com. Alright, today we're going to start off by talking about external hard drives. Now, external hard drives are basically, if you know what they are, basically there's something that you know sits on your desk or you know it's not inside your computer, it's a hard drive where you can store stuff that's outside your computer. So, there's a couple reasons why you might want an external hard drive. Um, first one is if you want to back up stuff because you don't want to lose data. That's one of the most common you know, uses for an external hard drive. Um, next, if your internal hard drive is full, you might you know, need more space. So you can buy an external hard drive and use that. Um, another thing that most people don't think about is for video editing. Now if you video edit like me all the time, you need an external hard drive because if you use your internal hard drive, it spins the disk out much, and the disk out disk wears out much faster, and your hard disk will basically crash sooner. So you want an external hard drive so you don't put all that you know pressure on your internal disk. Um, another reason why you might want something is you so you can carry it around. Like lots of people want to be able to bring their files with them, you know, lots of files, so. An external hard drive uh, would be something they would use. Um, no, another thing is a media storage device. Um, now, if any of you have an Xbox 360, you can uh, put video files on your hard drive, and then you can, it has to be formatted as FAT32, but you can put the files on your hard drive and then plug that into your Xbox and play whatever media files off there you got. All right, so there's a couple type of uh, connections for your hard drive. Uh, the most basic one is USB. It's got a couple of USB ones right here. Um, you can probably see it better on the picture behind me. Um, USB, there's USB 1.0 which is, mm, yeah, it's in pass basically. That uh, was a rate of uh, 12 megabits per, megabits per second or 1 megabyte, 1.5 megabytes per second. Um, then USB 2.0, which is pretty much standard today, that's a rate of uh, 60 megabytes per second. Um, now there's USB 3.0, which is not, which you can get hard drives and computers with them. It's not very widespread. Um, that has a rate of 5 megabits per second. Um, that's amazingly fast, incredibly fast, but it's not yet very widespread, so I wouldn't recommend getting one of those. Um, then after that there's FireWire. There's FireWire 400 which has a transfer speed of 400 megabits per second. Five, there's FireWire 800 which has a transfer rate of around 800 megabits per second. Then there's also FireWire uh, 1600 and, or 1600 and 3200. Those are relatively new. They're not very widespread again. Um, those have uh, transfer speeds of 1.6 and 3.2 gigabytes respectively. Um, so once again, these aren't very widespread, so I wouldn't uh, you know, get one of those either. Uh, your third option for uh, connecting your hard drive to your computer is eSATA. Um, that transfers at a rate of uh, three gigabits per second, um, give or take. Uh, most com computers don't have those either, so unless you know, you know your computer has one of those, I wouldn't recommend getting one of those either. I just gotta get a copy print. <sighs> Alright, so there's some major brands you wanna keep in mind when purchasing a hard drive. Some of the top brands are IOMega, Western Digital, Seagate, and Hitachi. So those are some of the big ones. You normally want to stick to a brand name, otherwise, you know, if it fails, there's not gonna be a whole lot of customer support and the brand names tend to have better parts too. Um, there is something cache size, if you ever see that, basically um, the higher the cache size um, or the memory of the external hard drive, the faster it's going to transfer files. Um, RPMs is something you also want to um, think about. RPM, the standard is uh, 500 
is 5,400. Uh, you can also get uh, 7,200 RPMs. Um, basically, you, with the 7,200 RPMs, it's just going to be a little better, you know, it's going to be better uh, read and write speed. Um, some of them will have software included on them um, for backup, although like Mac has Time Machine, so you know you should be good there. Um, formatting too, um, if you need to format your external hard drive, uh, just look up episode 19 of the show. Uh, I did a show on formatting hard drives and uh, go watch that, it'll help you out a bunch. So essentially, um, you know, there's a there's two different types of external hard drives. One is like this, it's a portable one. It doesn't require, you know, an external power source. Um, so that's the kind that, you know, if you want to have, you know, portable, you want to bring it places, you're going to get something like this that doesn't require an external power source. Um, then there's other ones. I have another one upstairs, I didn't bring it down, but it, it uh, has um, external power source. And those, you know, you're going to want, those are typically more for stationary if you have it on a desk or something. Alright, so that's about it for external hard drive stuff. Uh, now we're going to move on to talk about the PlayStation Move, which was just announced this week at GDC. Um, basically, the PlayStation Move um, is kind of like the Wii Mo for the Wii. Um, it's see what else it has um, it's about a hundred dollars for the, the starter kit um, it uses um, let's see it's kind of along the lines of you know the Wiimote and it's also you know a jump ahead of Microsoft's Project Natal um, among the types of games Move will work with include those with swords, bows, and arrows, guns, punching and more um, basically, they want to give you a more realistic feel of, you know, what kind of game you're playing, um, whether it's with a sword or a gun. And then also, um, the controller comes with its own accessory known as a sub-controller, which will accentuate what po what's possible with Move. Um, it says it's coming later this year, and uh, also um, it will be uh, working with SOCOM 4, which will incorporate move as well so that's pretty cool um play, you know i kind of thought that something like this might happen with you know the wii what that spawned and stuff like that um so if you want to link to that story from cnet it's going to be in the show notes all right um so yeah that about wraps up this show um remember if you have any tech questions email me at the go to techie at gmail.com Next week, we're going to be talking about how to make um, videos and upload them to YouTube. Uh, there's a hilarious Yahoo Answers question, and I read it, and I was like, oh my gosh, i got to make something about this because I guess apparently people don't know how to, you know, shoot and upload videos to YouTube. I've, you know, I've, I don't know, I just don't get it, but I've known a couple people have asked me how to do this already, and so I just thought, well, what the heck, I'll make a video showing, you know, people how to do it fairly simple and I'll show that to you guys next week. Oh, and one more thing, uh, I just, as you probably noticed throughout the episode, I just uh, changed up the look of the show a little bit. Um, let me know what you think of it. Uh, it took not too much work, but I wanted to change it up a little bit. Uh, I got a desk here, some chair, and then of course the new background. So let me know what you think about it. I like it a lot more than just sitting in the chair. It's a lot more professional and stuff like that. So. Let me know what you think about it. I'd love your feedback. Thanks. All right, that wraps up episode 21 of the Go To Techie Show. I'm your host, Isaac Swenson. Keep it sweet. I got an all star lined up for y'all, right? It's 32. But I'm going to start off in Atlanta, Georgia. You know I got you. We're going to get some new blood. Diamond, holla at him, baby. Ride a dot chick with a pocket full of relish.